Hey, let's play. Welcome back to more WWE 2K14. 30 years of WrestleMania mode. I'm here to call me. Thank you for joining me. This is the Universe Era, aka the PG Era, or the shittiest era of wrestling history known to man. This is WrestleMania 25, John Cena versus Edge versus Big Show. April 5th, 2009, Houston, Texas, World Heavyweight Championship Triple Threat Match. Following the main event of March 2nd episode of Raw, SmackDown General Manager Vicky Guerrero announced that her husband, Edge, <laughs> that sounds so weird. We defended his World Heavyweight Championship against Big Show at the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania on March 9th episode of Raw. Vicky announced to the superstar, uh, to the surprise of Edge and Big Show, that their title match uh, at WrestleMania was now a triple threat affair involving John Cena. But soon revealed that John Cena was extorting Vicky with footage of her affair with Big Show as a Raw Vicky booked a match pitting Edge against Cena with herself serving as a special guest referee. As Edge and Cena battled, Big Show joined Edge in the ring. Edge speared Cena, Vicky slapped him, and Big Show delivered a knockout punch. Edge, however, sent the biggest message of the night when he speared Big Show. So stupid. Let's get into it. As global trends shift and change, so does WWE. New faces emerge as WCW fails to match WWE's popularity. And while the Attitude Era ushered in highly charged and explosive elements to the WWE Universe, a new term defines sports entertainment in the new millennium. Who among you has enough ruthless aggression? I'm a main event player. These fools in the background. I take over you, and then I take over SmackDown. There is no doubt John Cena generates the emotion out of our fans. While there was an influx of new superstars, there was plenty of attitude still remaining. The largest athlete! I am the biggest, baddest superstar to ever hit this company. I have never seen one individual dominate like this. As a result, superstars old and new focused on one common vision. Domination. And familiar faces re-emerged with ruthless intentions. The ultimate opportunist has done it again. I'm a rated R superstar, and you better get used to it. Edge, the big show, they have done every tactic to try to keep me away from the World Heavyweight Championship. Wait a minute, Cena's in bad trouble now. But keep me away from WrestleMania. A ruthless right. I am going to WrestleMania to fight. I am going to WrestleMania to be the World Heavyweight Champion. Where will this new ruthless generation take WWE? John Cena versus Edge versus Big Show for the World Heavyweight Championship. And what will be their legacy? The following triple threat match is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Over 70,000 fans greeting the World Heavyweight Champion. An entrance befitting an eight-time World Champion. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Three men will be in this match, but only one man can leave with that goal. Well, in a triple threat match, Three men, as you say, battle at the same time. There can only be one winner, and the champion edge is at a big disadvantage. Whoa, speaking of big, I don't know what big show's going to be introduced playing tonight, but I'm hearing around 485. Yeah, we talked to Big Show last week before his big match with John Cena on Monday Night Raw. The Big Show says he's weighing in at 485 pounds. Well, that's what he said. But when he got on the scale, the scale said, one at a time, please. And introducing the challenger. First, standing seven feet tall, weighing 485 pounds, The Big Show. From West Newbury, Massachusetts, Weighing 240 pounds, John Cena. There is no one 
in the WWE that evokes as much emotion from the WWE fans as does John Cena. Wasn't that John Cena entrance uh, double team moves? Yeah, I don't know. Wasn't that John Cena entrance uh, supposed to come with like 17 other John Cena standing beside him while he runs down? Or is that a different WrestleMania? I can't remember. Anyways, uh, what I found weird, there's a double team move. All right, what I found weird was uh, the fact that double suplex. The fact that um, what am I trying to say here? The promo or the vignette or whatever you want to call it before the match was hyping up the Ruthless Aggression Era, but that's what we just finished, and this is called the, the Universe Era, or Mode, or whatever. So, I don't understand why we got a Ruthless Aggression, like, huge-ass promo for not the Ruthless Aggression Era. <laughs> Alright, I got a fourth final with the Shuffle on Edge, and hit Ejection, hit Ejection, hit Ejection, simple enough. I'm just going to taunt all these two beat up each other, build up my signature, why not, right? Let Edge do back suplex on flipping Big Show because he did that all the time. Here's my signature, so let's uh, let Edge take out Big Show here. Is whatever he's gonna do. Anything? Into the ropes, that works. I'm gonna take you down, face crusher. And signature, there we go. Oh, it's a five knuckle mix shuffle for Edge. You can't see me. Yup, yup. Five knuckle shuffle. There we go. Hit three standing grapple moves on the big show in the ring. Alright. Well, let's get out of here, fatty. Can I grapple you? Thank you. Hit three standing grapples. Oh, well, he's not going to let me do it. Ah! Face crusher by the fatty. Some big show's pale as a flipping motherfucker in this match, eh? Alright, well, let Edge take care of the show here. Fatty McFatterson. Can I pick him up? There we go. Alright, three standing grapples. Here's one. Scoop slimed his ass. Pick him up again. Hit him number two. I fucking, apparently I grabbed Edge for some apparent reason. That's what they gotta fix. Get out of here. That's what they gotta fix about these games, man. The auto lock-ons. I hate that shit. There's two. And one more. Gonna pick him up one more time. There we go. Fuck you. You can't punch me. I have no feeling. Cena with a short kick to the knee of the Big Show, getting the big man off balance. Looks like Big Show is taking a breather, trying to get some feeling oh. back into that leg. That was an innovative move. Edge drop kicking the ring steps right into the knees of the Big Show. John Cena driving his leg off the top. Cena's putting his body on the line with that high risk maneuver. King, I'm not sure who got the better of that exchange. See, that was pretty badass. Attitude, uh, Big Show, critical in the ring. Attempt to AA Big Show, the critical in the ring, I should say. Uh, not today, drop kick. <laughs> oh, my face. Bastard. Reversed. Get in the ring, Chubzilla. Or not. Oh, my face. The back of my head. Ah, oh, my back of the head. You guys are going to give me flipping brain damage. Reversed. <laughs> God damn it. Getting gangbangs. Thank you. There we go. You can't see me. Oh, no, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm doing the flipping stupid ass thing where I pretend to be an army man. Get in the ring. Get in the ring, chubby. Attitude adjustments. Okay, he reversed it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't want to be punched in the face. No, oh, face crusher. Oh my goodness. Back suplex by Edge. Taking down John Cena to the ground. Good, hit him with it. Thank you. I'm just going to taunt. Grab him. Okay, good. Oh, you reversed me. Oh no, the belly to belly. Oh. As long as he doesn't go for the pin on John or on Edge, we're good. Okay. He wants to go pin me because he's an idiot. Ugh, clothesline. Alright, I got a comeback. Might as well use it, right? <laughs> oh, the low blow, eh? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eat another one. Boom. Whoop. Get down, son. Ugh. Alright, time to hit him with the signature. Five knuckle on the shuffle. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Taken away from my five knuckle shuffle. Get him. Get him to the ground. Yeah. Flipping wrestling skills right there. Alright. 
Or not, he's going to reverse it. He's going to punch me in the dick. What an asshole. Ugh. My super balls. Oh, my chest. Get up. Oh, my chest again. He's trying to squish me with his fat ass legs. Thanks, Edge. Appreciate it. Alright, well. Yoink. <laughs> I'm attempting the AAM. Oh, he's not critical. Damn it. He's moderate now, apparently. Whatever. It's all good. I don't understand why he's moderate after I hit him with the attitude adjustment, but it's all good. Oh, get pins. I don't want to pin him. I'm just going to get out of the ring so these two fight each other for a second. There we go. Do some tauntage. Some tauntage. Build up my signature move. Stay away from me, Edge. I'm trying to build up my signature. No. <laughs> I don't want none of you. <laughs> ah, he's coming after you, Johnny. Get in the ring. Yeah, taunts. <laughs> Flipping move that is press. Eat it. Eat it, chubby. Right, get rid of this. We don't need to see this. Uh, Jump, please. Oh, I missed him. I broke my ass. Oh my goodness, my butt. <laughs> Edge looking for the spear. Too bad he doesn't have a spear. Oh, punching me in the face. I see how it is. Can I get up, please? Please? No? Can put me in a submission move? Don't matter. I'm going to get out of it. Oh, I got orange. Really? I'm in an orange? What? I didn't even take any moves. Oh, oh shit. Back by toss. Uh oh. That isn't good. Uh oh. Get him, Edge. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Well, whatever. You want to double team him? Nope, back body. Oh, wrestling skills. Get him with it. Get him with the five knuckle shuffle. Or not. Game doesn't want me to five knuckle shuffle him, apparently. Five knuckle mix shuffle. Get out of here, Edge. Do not pin him. I want to hit him with it. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Boom. There we go. It's gotta be critical now, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's do it. Edge with a sleeper. Oh, he's trying to get the sleeper locked in. This is one way to put the big show out. Oh my god, no! I can't believe what I've seen! You gotta be kidding me! Cena had both men up! And there's the attitude adjustment to the big show! Just to edge. So only Big Show can freaking, uh, or only John Cena could be a little shit like that. And make it, uh, make it look superstarish. I'm the best. I could beat both people. Here is your winner and new world heavyweight champion, John Cena. Oh, I, I couldn't even talk for a minute. My mouth was a gate when I saw Cena lift both Big Show and Edge simultaneously. I gotta say, only they can make the only way they make John Cena look more superstar, more of a superman, is what they did right there. I'm gonna pick up both guys, then I'm gonna flip and reverse the as a spear and hit him with a fu, so I could beat both guys technically. Ridiculous! I hate John Cena sometimes. All right, so we unlock championship Edge, rated R spinner. Edge, WrestleMania 25, Big Show, WrestleMania 25, John Cena, WrestleMania 25. So the next match is Triple H versus Randy Orton. So pretty much a rematch of last year, except minus John Cena. They put him in a different triple threat match. Randy Orton won the 2009 World Rumble match and earned a world title shot of his choosing at the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. During a heated conflict, Orton RKO'd Stephanie McMahon, with, which enraged Triple H, the WWE champion, and Stephanie's husband. On March 2nd episode of Raw, Orton was convinced by Triple H to use his title opportunity to match against him for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 25. Anniversary of WrestleMania, the following week on Raw, Triple H came out with his sledgehammer and attacked Orton. The following week, Orton attacked Triple H and handcuffed him to the rope. Stephen McMahon came out and begged Orton not to attack her husband. Instead, with Triple H looking on helplessly, Orton DDT'd Stephanie and then kissed her in the mouth. I remember that. That was badass. This next contest, scheduled for one fall, is for the WWE Championship. Now, if the champion gets disqualified or gets counted out, he will lose the championship. Introducing the challenger, weighing 245 pounds, Randy Orton. You know, somehow, evil shouldn't look that good. 
I mean, this guy looks like he's chiseled out of stone and ready to do some serious damage. You know, JR, it's ironic that at the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania, Randy Orton is seeking to destroy the family that started it all, the McMahon. Well, I can tell you what the WWE title means to the McMahon family. I've known them a long time, known them well. The WWE title has always been the centerpiece of this magnificent organization that goes back four generations. The WWE title is the one thing left that Randy Orton can take from Triple H. And approaching the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 255 pounds, the WWE Champion, Triple H. I've often wondered if a man can be so focused on destroying another that he forgets that the richest prize in all of the WWE is around his waist. I think maybe Randy Orton is counting on that here tonight. Because remember, if the game is counted out or disqualified, that's as good as a pinball or submission. But Triple H is going to have to make a decision. I mean, what's more important? Keeping the title or destroying Randy Orton? I don't think he can do both. Well, let's put it this way. The most important thing in this match for Randy Orton is to win the WWE title. Therefore, the most important thing for the game in this match is to keep that from happening. The question is, obviously, can that be done? Well, it was the day after he won the championship when Triple H turned his back on Randy Orton that Orton said he made a vow to ruin Triple H's life like the game ruined his to take away what he holds dear, the WWE Championship. All right, let's do it. Let's kick some Rudy Pooh candy ass. Form of Spine Buster, perform two pedigrees and hit an objective. So pretty simple. Just uh, pretty pretty much a match. Got to build up two finishers and kick his ass, essentially. Love that running knee lift by, by Triple H. Good move, especially online. It works really well. The online gameplay has been shit forever, though. So glitchy. Everyone has the same move sex. It's the only way you can win. All everyone does is just run and grapple each other, and running, running strikes, and all that nonsense. Boom! That move works like a charm too if you do it. <laughs> all right, uh, beat up on Orton. Close line. Oh, nice little flipping leg trip there. Reverse. Close line again. No flying knee lift. Go to top rope. Dropping, dropping, fist drops. That wasn't a fist drop. It was an elbow drop, but whatever. Dropping knees on the bridge of the nose. Get up. Get up. Alright. DDT. You gotta work on the head, obviously, because my finisher affects the head, as we all know what the pedigree does. I don't really have to explain it to anybody. Uh, yeah, Randy Orton has talent. Too bad he's boring as shit now. I don't know what happened to him. This kid, is like, right now, this is, he was at the peak of his heel career, I believe, in this, this year. He was, like, the best heel in the company. And now he's just so boring. And, like, such a baby. I don't understand it. I'm him with this signature right here. Spine Buster. All right, we'll hit him one pedigree. Might as well. Actually, we'll we'll keep it. We'll keep our finisher. We'll stack it up. We'll do pedigree back to back, two pedigrees in a row. Build up another finisher real quick. Taunt him. Get up, boy. Suck it. Oh, a chop block. Bring you back down. Ah, best in the world. <laughs> is uh, my finisher gonna store, or is it gonna stay there? You seen this man, Randy Beat him up. He's already got a red head. That was quick. Uh, knee him in the Kick face. In the head. DDT, Grapple right. him. Sidebuster. Backbreaker. Got a top rope. That's drop some more really bows on this asshole. Yeah, as uh, most of you may know already. Freaking Randy Orton beat Big Show in probably the worst pay-per-view I've seen in my entire life. Survivor Series 2013. Terrible. <laughs> so bad. I missed the first match, so I can't really say it was that bad because I'm sure the first match was good. I don't understand why they opened the match with that, or opened the pay-per-view with that match. It was uh, the Shield and uh, Real Americans versus uh, the Rhodes and uh, Usos and Rey Mysterio for some reason. <laughs> that could have been one of their main events. Who no, we're going to open the match with it. All right, well, we got another. Apparently, we don't have another one. Okay, I don't quite understand that. That was weird. I flipping 
I don't understand this game sometimes. It didn't stack finishers for me, whatever. We're kicking the shit out of Randy Orton anyway. So we got back up already. Boom, get that down, son. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> ah, build up as fast as possible so we don't have to sit here for seven days. I'm surprised he's not bleeding yet for all the damage we've done to his head. Maybe by the next pedigree he'll uh, start bleeding. Ooh, mm, clothesline. Yeah, I did. I'm trying to break his head. If uh, you haven't realized that, JR. Ooh, reverse the chop, eh? Go to the superplex. I don't know, another reversal. And a reversal! It's a reverse king. Fucking reversal games. Spine Buster. Boom! Alright, it's over. Get out, boy. Last pedigree. Time to end your life. Uh, head objective. I don't know what that's going to be. We'll find out in a second here. It is. Boink. Former pedigree and pin in 10 seconds. Alright. One, two, three. Triple H wins. The game wins. Here is your winner and still WWE champion, Triple H. My God, what a battle. And the King of Kings, the WWE Champion, reaching into the soul of Randy Orton and extracting some retribution. And the game plays on. Well, Randy Orton has learned a very valuable lesson on the stage of WrestleMania tonight. Be careful how far you back somebody into a corner, especially if that somebody is named Triple H. All right, so we lost the WrestleMania 25 arena, so really nothing. <laughs> Nothing special anyways. Get on the next one. We got WrestleMania 26 and we got three matches. Eh? That's that's interesting. WrestleMania 26, it's Chris Jericho versus Edge in their first match. And we have Shawn Michaels versus Undertaker, which is the, one of the best matches ever in wrestling. And um, I guess something to do with John Cena would be my guess. So anyways, I'm here to call me. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Show me a thumbs and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.